Providing opportunities for athletes of all abilities, that was the mission at Hockey Day Minnesota today. And as Fox 9's Bab Santos shows us, it came in the form of sled hockey. It's a lot of fun, a beautiful day out here in Minnesota, yeah. On the final day of this year's Hockey Day Minnesota, White Bear Lake hosted what has to be some of the most loyal fans in the state because they endured another day of dangerously cold weather to watch some of the best hockey in town. It's zero degrees, but it feels like negative of 10. On the ice, Sebastian Nevelinen was feeling the effects of that cold pretty early on. I was sweating, but it was like cooling off. At the root rate, I was sweating today, so that's how cold it was. A type of cold that's just hard to game plan for. Sebastian opting for comfort over convenience when he showed up to the rink wearing a coat on top of his jersey and pads. But even that effort came up short against Mother Nature. If I didn't keep moving, I would be like chilled to my bones. My left hand was like cramping. I was like, ah. Woodbury second grader Walker Ellis spent a lot of time on his wardrobe as well. I'm wearing four layers under this and three layers under this. And I have like these heaters. So if I press really hard, they heat me up. There's one right here, here, and two in my pocket. Ultimately, this game was as much a face-off against the forecast as it was against one another. But after another successful year proving why this is the state of hockey, Sunday's game also proved that hockey is for everyone. Yeah! Patrick! In White Bear Lake, Bab Santos, Fox 9. Also this weekend, the coolest celebration on earth kicked off. You can head down to St. Paul and check out the ice carvings in Rice Park. So beautiful. There's some more fun over at the Landmark Center. And then if you head over to the State Fairgrounds in Falcon Heights, you'll find snow sculptures there at the Vulcan Snow Park as well. And you should know that this Thursday, Fox 9 will be live from St. Paul. I'll be there along with Kelsey, Ian, and Rob Olson. We'll be live starting at 5 p.m. from Rice Park. You'll find some of those ice carvers, snow sculptures, and the newest event this year, Rondo Night. That's all coming in this Thursday right here on Fox 9. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah.